Hi guys, are you ready to continue talking about essential Pro Tools settings? So Pro Tools is a complex program and in our last video we started a mini series on important settings to understand within Pro Tools. I'll put a card or something up here on the screen so you can check out that first video if you haven't already. Today I'll continue talking about some of my favorite settings to use and at least know about within Pro Tools. Pro Tools is complex enough that I can probably continue with this series for some time and I think I'll do one more like this after this video and then pick a different topic for a little while. But yeah, this is by no means a comprehensive list of settings within Pro Tools. So. Let's begin. The first setting for today is link timeline and edit selection. So to be honest, I usually leave the timeline and edit selection linked. So I don't use this option very often, but I think it's very important to understand what this is because it controls such a central component of how we edit and how things are played back. So I think it's good to know how it works. So you can either know how to relink them if you walk into a studio where someone unlinked them or so you can take advantage of the function on occasion. So when we make a selection in the edit window, we see the selection on our track or tracks and that selection is called your edit selection. You'll also notice a selection will be made up top in our rulers section and that selection is called our timeline selection. I think most people like me work with the timeline and edit selection linked. But you can choose whether they're linked or unlinked by going to the options menu and checking or unchecking link timeline and edit selection. With the check mark next to the option meaning that the timeline and edit selections are linked and no check mark meaning that they are not linked. You can also adjust this option using the button in the top toolbar section of the edit window. This is the button and it looks like two parallel arrows pointing in opposite directions next to two dots with parallel lines between them. When the button is blue, the timeline and edit selections are linked and when it's gray, they are not linked. Now, when they are linked, you'll notice that when you make either an edit selection or a timeline selection, that Pro Tools will automatically create an identical selection in the other selection area. When they are unlinked, making a selection in one area will not affect the other. When you hit play, playback will begin at the start of the timeline selection, whereas edits are made with the edit selection. So unlinking them can be useful if you want playback to begin at a certain spot, regardless of where your edits and subsequently edit selections are being made. This way you can work within a certain area, making edits and modifying it as you go, and when you start and stop playback, it can start at the beginning of the section each time, so you can hear the whole section through no matter where your edits were made. So I can see it being very useful, I just don't tend to use it. The second setting for today is organize plugin menus by. Now a lot of us just operate with our plugins organized based on category of plugin and we never even think about changing that. What a lot of people don't know is that you can change how your plugins are organized within Pro Tools. So just go to the setup menu and then choose preferences, then look at the display tab and look for the organize plugin menus by option. Here, you can choose between options like having them listed as a flat list, having them listed by category, or by manufacturer, or by category and manufacturer. If you choose flat list, then it gets rid of any categories within the plugin menu and just lists every single one of your plugins in alphabetical order. Choosing category is what we tend to see most in studios, and that organizes them based on their function, so you get options like dynamics, reverb, and delay, among others. Choosing manufacturer organizes them based on what company made the plugins, and a while back I actually switched to this organizational method for a little bit to force myself to spruce up on who makes which plugins that I know and love so that I could then talk about plugins more easily with other engineers. And if you choose category and manufacturer, it displays both the menu where they are organized by plugin type and the menu where they're organized by category. So you can access the plugins either way. So this is totally a personal preference type of setting, but a lot of people don't know about it. So I thought I would share it with you guys today. So that's all I have time for for today. I could keep going with this list for quite some time and I'll probably do at least one more video on this topic for my next video. But for now, I hope you like this video and let me know what you think in the comments below. For today's question, I wanna know what are your go-to settings in Pro Tools? Please leave your answers in the comments below. Also, I now have a Patreon, so if you feel so inclined, the link is in the description and I would love for you guys to check that out. Also, if you like this video, please hit the little like button, share the video, or subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming out with new videos every other Wednesday and thanks for watching watching. Okay.